flip this. What lemon? Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Callie with Gemmins. I'm so glad you were able to join me today. I'm just marking off my list. Last night I made two soaps. I did not get them filmed, but we're going to film the cutting of them today. It was getting kind of late in the afternoon and I had to cook dinner and I was like, oh crap, I forgot I have those soaps I got to make really quick. So I went and made those soaps and I'm just marking them off my list so I know that they're checked off as part of our essential oil line of, of soaps that we're coming out with. And um, I, now that I've done that, we are going to cut some soaps. So anyway, I did tea tree oil because I had a special request at my uh, my vendor show. And then we're going to cut lemongrass. So we've got two beautiful soaps here. At least I think they're ready. They're completely cold, so they should be. Um, I should switch this around here. <laughs> Backwards this morning. Oh, let's put that one over there. We'll get that one cut in a minute. Get up there. There we go. All right, so... Ah, oh, that looks fabulous. And it smells amazing in here. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time with the smell of tea tree oil. Okay, I can push the bottom out so I know it's ready. Usually I found that when in these molds that I have, the toned skinny ones, when my soap is ready, it just pops right out. I don't have a problem with it. It's when they're not ready is when I can't get them out of my molds. So, and I know these two are, mold, are ready. They've been sitting there overnight. So put those aside because I've got some more coming up. Oh my goodness, look at that. Mm, that is our, this one is tea tree. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love the way that one looks on the top. So we're gonna pull this out of the mold because it is definitely ready to go. And when I pull my stuff out of the mold, I always push on it gently to see if it's going to cave in, and it usually doesn't. And the fact that it pulls away from my silicone mold really easily tells me that this one is ready to go. So we're going to pull it out here. Yeah, it didn't cave in the inside. We've got the, all these little pieces that come off around the side of it. I usually just pop them in my bowl and use them later. Sometimes if it's a really good scent, I'll... Oh, yeah, that just popped in the back. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll wind them up or wad them up and put them in my uh um look at that just popped right out that is definitely ready to go i'll um put them in my repurpose bucket and because i don't like to waste i don't know about you but i'm not a waster Put my hand around there pull that out oh that is a beautiful soap beautiful beautiful soap okay let's cut this soap and see what we have I have happened here Move that out of the way. Put that over there. I'll clean that up in a little bit. Okay. Now, I've been debating on cutting it on that side. I think I will. And I have a bucket here ready to go. I just have to relabel this one. Yeah. It's got something on it. I don't know what that is. So, we're going to cut this down here and see what we have. Hopefully, it's... I know it's ready to go. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Isn't that pretty inside? smells amazing I found that if I cut it on the side it cuts better so that's what we're gonna do Ooh, there's another one tea tree will be up on the website I just have to film it oops and get it up there back that off a little bit so I can pull it out there you go these are beautiful this is a beautiful tea tree so um this is gonna sell really well in my shop I have had a lot of requests for this. In fact, I had a lady come up. She says, ah, you do essential oils, but do you do tea tree soap? And I was like, no. She says, oh, would you make me some? I desperately need some. And I was like, yeah, absolutely I will. So um, I like to fulfill my customers' um, requests as much as possible. Sometimes it's not always possible. I had a lady ask me to make anise seed or anise and is like, mm. so I got it in. I just haven't made it, but we're going to make that one for Halloween because that would be a really good scent. Halloween so and if you if nobody knows what anise is, smells like if you've never smelled it it smells like um, uh, licorice and I actually do get quite a bit of requests hey do you have licorice scent I don't know why but it's a very popular scent at my shop so, so we'll definitely make that one for them and after we cut these, they'll be available for 24, they'll be available, not 24 hours, they will be available as a permanent regular item on my site. Um, I'll have about 15 bars by the time we're done cutting these. They're super nice and soft too. I love the feel of these bars. They're, 
I like this new recipe. It's so much better. You might have a little bit of soda ash on the top of your soap if you get it. That is normal. Um, I do try to wash it off. In fact, I may. These are not too bad, but I may have to do that. Wash those off. There we go. So yeah, these are really pretty bars. Really, really happy with what happened here. These are really, really good. So. All right, so it looks like we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we ended up with 15 bars total. That's perfect. That's really what I want. And um, these bars will come in at a price. Um, they're $10 a bar because they are made with essential oils. So they're a little bit more expensive, but I'm hoping to try and lower that price down a little bit. I have to recalculate my soap. My original soap was at that price but I think I can lower that price down grab a paper towel here we're gonna wipe this off clean this off we'll get our lemongrass over here and we'll cut that up super excited about lemongrass all right I need this down I'm gonna put the tea tree over on the side there and then I'll bring them both up at the at the end okay so here's our lemongrass Look at that beautiful bar. I got it. I just realized that these are so stained because I've used them so much <laughs> that I need to do something with it. Look at that. Look how that just pops right out. Maybe. <laughs> ah. There it is. All right. So let's set that one aside. Get those all cleaned up. Sometimes you just can't help it. <laughs> All right, so this one is also done because I made this one right after that one. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you've ever smelled lemongrass. Or this isn't lemongrass, excuse me. Lemon eucalyptus is the name of this one. Yeah, it just smells amazing. Yeah, lemon eucalyptus is this oil. I don't know that I really need to pop that side. I think it's pretty well popped. No, nope, you need to pop it. Yep, there it goes on the bottom. And I think I already popped this one. Nope. Now we'll pull that bar out. There we go. There we go. We'll put that aside. I'll clean those up and we'll make some more soap. I think I, I have a couple um, fragrance oil soaps that I want to make that are going to be regular lines in our shop. Now, somebody asked me this question um, at my vendor show, so I'm just going to answer it here. Um, are you going to continue to carry some of your scents that you already have in stock? Absolutely. We are. We're just going to a more all natural soap. I have a new, um, formula. So if you are on my website right now, you will notice that I have all my soaps on sale for five bucks a piece. Um, except for the new ones that are coming out. Uh, definitely go buy those. Um, the, the scents are going to continue. They're just going to come out with a new bar. So, uh, I am dropping the hemp seed oil and bringing in a new bar and everybody is like, Thank you. I'm so glad I don't like the hemp seed oil. And I'm like, I know I've been, I've had so much requests for them that that's what I'm going to do. Oh, you know what? I just realized I haven't turned my camera down. I'm sorry. Here I am rattling on. Here, let's cut this soap for you guys. Duh. Hello, everybody. This is Callie with Gemmins, and I just knocked that soap off, so we're going to bring it back on my shop. Oh, today we are cutting soap. We're going to keep this one a short and simple one. Uh, I just got done cutting the tea tree one and discovered my camera was off. Crap. <laughs> I'll show it to you here in just a second. But we are going to cut this lemongrass soap. This was a, uh, this is a remake of my lemongrass soap. I've had it. It's been off the, sh off the shelf for about a month. Um, I just haven't had time to make it. So I finally sat down yesterday and said, I got to get this soap done. So I made that soap. So we are cutting this soap today. Uh, lemongrass, or excuse me, not lemongrass. This is uh, lemon eucalyptus. It's an absolutely beautiful scent. Let's see if I can put this up to the camera to show you. I did not get it filmed. Unfortunately, I wish I had time yesterday to film it, but I did not. I was so busy with other things that I just, I just could not get it filmed yesterday. So let me grab. Oh, I love the sound of that when it cuts. Sounds so good. I'll bring that one over in just a second. All right, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, there's just an end. I always sell my ends at a discount, so 
um, they'll be on there. Or maybe I'll just do something else with it. I haven't decided yet. Oops. Put something on there. There we go. There you go. This is lemon eucalyptus, and I absolutely love lemon eucalyptus. If you've never smelled it, it's just amazing. And these bars are just perfectly soft to cut. I absolutely love this no, new soap bar. This soap bar has uh, cocoa butter, shea butter. Um, the little spots in here is the mica. It just didn't get mixed in, so you got a little glitter there. Uh, uh, cocoa butter, shea butter, mango butter, um, and then it has coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil, and then we use sus sustainable palm oil as our replacement for our hemp seed oil, and then I also added in the cocoa butter because everybody was requesting it, so I was like, okay, I'll put it in, no problem. So we have that in there. So these bars will be up on the website at the time of this viewing. I just, I have to film them, get them photographed and get them up. And I'll try and do that today if I can. And all of my movement, I don't know what I did with my camera. So I, I've got my studio set up. I just don't know what I did with my camera. It got pushed aside somewhere. So I gotta go find it. There's another one. These bars are so pretty. And it smells just totally amazing in here. Oh, these are just really good. You're going to hear my dogs and my cats are out there. They're active again this morning, just running around. Oh, and there's Tink. Tinkerbell. She must get there. She's mad because like we've been closing the bedroom door because my cats decided to pee on my bed. Not a good thing going to bed and discovering that. So my husband and I cleaned the mattress and got the smell out. Fortunately, we have a really good steam cleaner with that soap. And so we were able to get that cleaned up. So that was good. All right, so we have 15 bars here ready for sale. A little bit of mica in there. So there's that. Isn't that pretty? All right, so we have 15 bars here ready to go. These are going to be, um, I'm going to be bringing these this weekend to my vendor show. I'm going to let these sit for 24 hours and harden up the rest of the way because they're just about done. Um, let me clean this off really quick. Oop. Put just stuff in there. I'll clean it off here. And we'll get this ready for the next soap that we're going to have cut. It's always important to keep your equipment clean. Hands clean. Um, as you see, I don't have gloves on, but that's okay. Um, I can't wear the gloves. My hands um, are allergic to pretty much all of the... All of the... Um, gloves that I've worn so I finally just stopped wearing them. I'll wear them once in a while if I if I need to but for the most part I can't wear them. So I make sure that my hands are sterilized in super hot water and I use a really good dish soap to get those clean and um, I make sure that my hands are as clean as possible for you guys. Alright, we're going to tip that backwards. I'll set these back up again but I'm tipping them backwards so that you can see them. Okay, so this is our new uh Tea tree oil. Tea tree is really, really good for, it's an antibacterial, antifungal. Um, it's really good for cleaning your feet if you have toenail fungus. It's really good for your fingers if you have toenail fungus or hand fungus. Um, tea tree oil is really good for just cleansing too. It's, um, uh, it's really good for your sinuses. Um, I will have a eucalyptus soap coming out, a full eucalyptus soap, not a lemon one. If you like lemon eucalyptus, it works the same, which is what this one is here. Um, you lemon eucalyptus can be used for a lot of different things, but here again, it's, it has pretty much the same properties as regular eucalyptus, but lemon eucalyptus is slightly different. Um, it does not have lemon in it. It's not a lemon and eucalyptus. It is lemon eucalyptus, that's what they call it. And it does have a really good yummy scent. And I absolutely love this one. Um, 
but uh, it's really good for clearing the sinuses and clearing your lungs and just really good um, all together. So both of these are really good to use at any time. Uh, and this one was made because the tea tree oil is really good for our skin, our facial skin. Um, it really helps with acne and blemishes. And so this one's really good for your skin. So um, both these essential oils are really good for your body. And so I highly recommend that you go out and get them. The bars will be $9 to start out with. And then once I finalize my calculations of the new bars, um, they are, I'm pretty sure I'll drop them down, but I'm not sure when that's going to happen. Probably not till next year, um, but we'll see what happens. Each bar is $9 a bar. It's made with 100% therapeutic gray essential oil. So you're getting a really good, uh, uh, uh essential oil product. And, uh, and I do source these properly. I make sure the companies that I get them from, somebody asked me, uh, do you get these from doTERRA or do you use uh, Young Living oils? No, I do not. Um, those products um, are way too expensive to produce uh, for me to use them in my products. So I don't use them even at wholesale prices. I can still get them at half the price at wholesale prices. So um, I have a, a source that um, gets the oils from this pretty much the same place as those uh, the other companies. Um, there's only a few main manufacturers in the world that do essential oils. So um, those are sourced through those sources. And those sources have been around a lot longer and have been working a lot longer than some of the um, local companies that are out there. So just be aware that um, I do check my sources for my oils and I have found a company that has been in the business for over 25 years and they have produ been producing um, essential oils for a really long time. And I have another company that I use that have been producing um, essential oils for a lot longer than that. So I have a couple really good sources that I use. So there you go. So I have lemon, eucalyptus, and tea tree. So go get these two soaps on the website. They are available now. Um, and uh, there you have it. Two brand new soaps. I'm sorry I didn't get them filmed. I just, I was busy yesterday and had did not have time to set my camera up and get it going. I'm trying to look for a permanent solution to leave my camera up so I can just come in, turn it on and leave it and, and go from there. So we're working on that. Hopefully by the end of this year, we'll be able to do that. So anyway, so there you go. Thanks everybody for joining me. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. There we go. Don't forget to hit the notification button and don't forget to share my videos and let other people know that I have these videos if they are interested. Um, we have more videos coming out, especially the essential oil ones. Oh, these are really powerful. <laughs> oh, they feel so good in here. <laughs> and we do have a couple um, fragrance oils we're going to continue to carry and we have um, more in our shop. And I am discontinuing a whole bunch of my fragrance oils since um, they're just not selling really well. So we're going to go to a new have a new mold that we're going to do those in and those are going to be fun i like those but though those that are i have like a couple scents that just sell really really well so we're going to leave them in the tall ones and then we'll make some sampler little bars and if they sell really well then we'll get them we'll get them selling so anyway so there you have it all good dough i'm going to put those up on this rack and let them sit for 24 hours and then get them ready for the fair if you are in olympia or excuse me if you are in um the Yelm Roy area, or you come down to Yelm um, on a regular basis. I am at the fair until the end of September, so you only got about a month and a half left before um, we end our farmer's market season, and then you will not see me. <laughs> I will not be out on the fairs. Um, I have made the decision to just do the summer stuff and leave it at that. I'll probably do a couple of holiday fairs, um, but there's not really a whole lot of people doing holiday fairs out here. So I probably won't do a whole lot. So we'll see what happens. So anyway, thanks everybody for joining me. I truly appreciate you and you all have a great, fabulous day. 